want the people of Kenya to know that as I go home today, I have no security. And uh, it's good that they know. And if anything happens to me, all my family, President William Ruto must be held to account. We've made many mistakes in life. And we keep on learning. I trusted President William Ruto from the Mount Kenya region, trusted him. In fact, as we were preparing to go to office, nobody else trusted him. Musalia Mudavadi demanded that they must sign an MOU with him, which they did. Moses Wetangula demanded that they, may, they must sign an MOU with him, which they did. Um, uh, Amazon Kingi demanded the same. Alfred Mutua, everybody else. I'm the only man who trusted him. Verbally, we used to go to church together. And as a Christian, I believed a fellow Christian. But he would never betray me or my people. For the last one year, it's been very difficult for me. But I'm a very persevering man, very enduring. And um, what happened on Thursday is a culmination of continuous persecution and stress for a year. And when I look at it, probably, it is history repeating itself. But President William Ruto wanted to take me the route President Daniel Ramoy took Kenneth Matiba. He pushed Matiba up to getting a stroke and eventually dying. When I look to what the president is doing to me, especially now when I'm in hospital, crippling me, I think he wanted to take me the Matiba route.